Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to be taking a look at how to resize objects in AutoCAD using a handful of methods allowing you to scale uh, precisely or roughly to an exact size that you may need an object. Before jumping into today's video, I wanted to share a deal from NordVPN with you all. By using the link down below, you'll be able to get a three-year plan for 72% off as well as three months free, working out to less than $3.50 a month for a premium NordVPN service. I've mentioned VPNs on the channel and on the blog before, but if you're not aware, a VPN stands for a virtual private network. It allows you to protect your internet connection and privacy while you're surfing online. It creates an encrypted tunnel for you, uh, protecting your data and identity by hiding your IP from the public and allows you to use, say, public Wi-Fi spots securely. It's also going to allow you to pick and choose the location of your IP address uh, as seen on the web. This is going to allow you to watch shows from another country. For example, while traveling abroad, I've used VPNs to access Canadian Netflix and shows in the past, uh, and NordVPN is one of the best in the business. If you're worried about security or simply want to keep your data safe online, a VPN is definitely worth checking out. Again, if you click that link down below, you're going to get a awesome deal, 72% uh, off and three months for free right now. That's only $3.30 a month for the two year plan. I use NordVPN. It works on a ton of devices and systems. I use it on Android, iOS, and my PC, and I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. By using the link down below, not only do you get a great deal, but you're also supporting CAD intentions as the channel gets a cut of each sale. Now let's jump right into today's video. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to be taking a look at four different methods to scale objects within AutoCAD. Each will solve a different problem or work for a different purpose, but they're all going to get the job done for you. First up, if you say you have an object and you just want to simply scale it uh, up or down, one of the quickest ways is to select it and bring up your properties menu here on the right. You can do that by right clicking and selecting properties or using the control and one hotkey. Uh, from there, simply changing the scale here is going to scale your object up or down. By default, your objects are going to have a scale of one. By changing it to say two in the X, Y, and Z uh, directions, you're gonna have a twice as large or two times scale of your object. This works in the other direction as well using say a decimal, 0.5 for each that's going to be half the size as the one scale now this isn't exact uh, as you would need to know the dimensions of your project or your object to scale it up to a specific size but this method can be quick and easy if you simply want to scale something up and down quickly all right so second is the scale command you can access this by simply typing in scale and hitting enter now choosing an object and hitting enter again is going to allow you to scale an object it's going to ask for a base point typically you want the center of your object but maybe something against a wall in this example of a sink either way you want to choose a base point to scale your object from clicking in the center here i'm now able to pull this in and out scaling it on the fly so you could do this freehand or you can type in a scale factor down below. So if you want something 10 times or two times, you can simply type in that factor. So if I type in a three and hit enter, you can see my object or my sink in this case is three times as large. Now this is a little bit more exact and it's gonna give you a few more options, but it's similar to using the properties. The third method also uses the scale command, but it's going to use a subcommand within scale. So if we type in scale again and select our object, we're going to choose our bathtub over here and hit enter. 
Now it's going to ask you for a base point again, and you're going to want to choose a good base point that you can reference a length off of if you want to scale this up to an exact length. So in our case, we're going to make this tub here eight feet long. So we're going to choose this left bottom corner here as our reference point. Now before we scale or do anything, we're going to type R for reference or click the reference highlighted box down here. So we're going to hit R and enter and it's going to ask me for a reference length. Now you can type this in, but the easy way to do it is to choose at two points that you know the length you want it to be and we're going to use that as our reference. So as I mentioned, we're going to choose this bottom left and we're going to choose this bottom right. Now it's going to ask for the new length or what the final length of this object is going to be. We are simply going to type in 10 feet and hit enter. So now you can see it's scaled up our tub so that that bottom length is exactly 10 feet. So I've just typed in dist or for the distance command. I'm going to choose those two points and you can see here that it is 10 feet long. Now that's an exact way to scale objects and you can use any two points as long as you know that finished length that you would like your object to be. So we'll do that one again really quickly here. So we're going to type in scale. We're going to choose our object, hit enter, choose a base point, and now we're going to reference from that base point to another point. We're going to choose the width here and now it's going to ask us for a new width. In this case, we're going to make it two feet wide. You can see that it scaled it back down. And again, this is going to let you choose an exact length for an object and quickly scale it to that based on the two reference points. All right, so before we get to the last and my favorite tip for scaling objects, I wanted to remind you guys that I have an AutoCAD fundamentals and workflow course, which is available now. I'm going to put that link down in the description it's going to have a discount for you guys, my subscribers. It's hours of packed full of content, uh, teaching tips, tricks, and fundamentals of AutoCAD that are going to boost your productivity and general speed when using AutoCAD. Again, if you've enjoyed my videos, you're going to enjoy this course. All right, so let's jump back in. For tip number four, we're going to use a command that if you follow the channel for a while, you're going to recognize it's called align. Align is going to allow you to choose two points on any object and align them to two new points. So for our tub example here, we're going to place our tub along this entire wall of the bathroom here. Now we don't need to know the size, we just need to know how big we want it to be based on points. So we're going to type in align and we're going to select our object. Hitting enter is going to ask us to choose our first point. So I'm going to put this point here and it's going to ask us for its destination. I'm going to place that point in the bottom left corner of my room. And for my second point, I'm going to choose the bottom right and I'm going to place my destination point in the bottom right of the bathroom. Now you can use a third point, but for most objects, you're probably only going to need two. And with three, you're going to want to be careful because it can skew or stretch your object to make those three match whereas two is simply going to move and rotate and scale your object to match the two points you've chosen. Hitting enter will skip the third point and it's going to ask you if you'd like to scale based on these points. The whole point of this tip is to scale. So we're going to type in Y for yes and hit enter. Now you can see that it's automatically scaled and placed our tub into the correct location regardless of this size. We didn't need to know how wide the room was. We just knew we wanted a tub that's going to fit. Now you can pull dimensions and get the exact size for your object. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. Don't forget to check out NordVPN to help support the channel. Remember, a portion of each sign up goes towards CAD Intentions, but you're going to get a great deal on a two year plan using the link down below. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.